Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to be recreating a hairstyle for you guys and just going through the steps of how I created it. Um, I was kind of inspired by Scott Hoying's hairstyle. Um, he's a member of Pentatonix and he has this major swoop. Um, his hair is a lot longer than mine and his swoop is very dramatic. Um, so this is just kind of like loosely inspired by that. <laughs> but my hair is desperately overdue for a haircut. It's just too overgrown to do what I usually do. So I was playing with it and this is what I came up with. I just figured I would turn on the camera and film me getting ready. And I'm late, so I'm going to cut this intro off now. Enjoy the tutorial. Hair and I've just, as you can see, blow dried it. So I kind of blow dried the back forward, the sides in, and then the front section I kind of blew um, up into one side. Kind of, I don't know, we're just dealing with a hot mess. And our next step is going to be uh, to steal your roommate's flat iron, as I have done. Um, and this step is kind of optional, it depends on the length of your hair, um, and whether your hair is stick straight like mine, or if it has a bit of bend to it. You might be able to just zhuzh it into place without doing this, um, but this is how I styled it the other day, so. Starting from the back, I'm going to curl the hair under, so I'm grabbing at the base and curling it forward as you can see. And this back here is just to add some texture. It doesn't really matter kind of what you do with this back section. The swoop all happens in the front, but it just kind of ties everything together. Okay, and then when you get towards your front section, I didn't fuss with this too much, also I'm in a rush, so. Um, when you get towards the front section, it depends which way your swoop is going, but I'm starting on the left and kind of swooping to the right. Um, so I'm going to grab this rightmost section, kind of at a diagonal, and curl it up and back. So you can see this one's going up and that way. The end section, I'm going to take it and I'm going to curl it up so it kind of sticks up at the end. Again, like I said, if your hair already has some kind of wavy, curly texture, you can probably just skip this step. And then I'm going to take a combination of Claymation and Sponge Wax by Hans de Fuca. Um, I like Claymation for hold, but I kind of like Sponge Wax more for the finish and kind of consistency. So I'm going to mix them. Because my hair has grown out quite a bit, um, my sides kind of poof up. If you have kind of like your sides freshly trimmed down or whatever, you're probably good to go. But I'm just going to take a little bit of just sponge wax and kind of comb my fingers through these side bits and just kind of stick down all these loose hairs. And I prefer using just sponge wax for this because I find it just works into the hair really well and it doesn't leave these side bits looking chunky at all or like you have a whole bunch of products slipped in them, it just kind of gives it a really natural finish. But still does a really good job at taming everything. Once you're kind of happy with how everything's looking, I like to finish it with a bit of hairspray. I know this isn't what everyone kind of likes to do, but for me it just kind of helps lock in the final style. But if you're someone that likes to kind of go through the night and zhuzh your hair up and whatnot, probably skip this because it's going to make your hair feel a little bit hard and tacky. So it turned out a little bit different than the last time I did it, for sure. Um, but I can usually never recreate my hairstyles perfectly. They're always a little bit different. Can't really see what I'm doing too well, so. Excuses, Colin, excuses. So that's the tutorial done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more kind of hair creations, recreations, inspired videos, uh, let me know. And I will gladly do that for you. I hope you guys are well. Take care. And bye.